Hey guys, what's going on? It's not welcome along to a brand new video today We are gonna play a indie game called Serious Scramblers, so I was sent this um, on my uh, email from a uh, Small indivev. He goes by the name of Chinny. is his nickname. Uh, we have Serious Scrambles Which is out on the uh, 11th of November and it's gonna be priced at $1.99 and they said um, I made a tiny indie game that I'd love for you to take a look at on your channel. Uh, description, Serious Scrambles, it's a tough vertical platform where you can't jump. There are multiple characters to be unlocked, each changing the game in a significant way. Descend into the deep and face the monsters that lurk within. There are 27 levels with an endless mode which will unlock mid-game. Uh, I hope you enjoy this bite-sized indie snack of a game. Now, I assume that they've possibly seen my um, playing Celeste. Um, so decided, hey, this game might be for you. So we're going to take a look at it, um, give it a good investigation, see what everything is about. Uh, they also sent me a cheat code <coughs> that I can uh, quickly unlock all of the characters really quickly. So we might take a look at that in a bit, but um, okay, let's see what we got. We don't want full screen. There we go. So yeah, uh, it's uh, kind of like a pixel art style here, which is uh, pretty nice. So we can't jump on this. That's quite interesting. A vertical platform that we can't jump on. Now looking at the trailer, oh, can you survive till the end? Looking at the trailer that I saw, um, yeah, like this, it's, you go down. You, you're not going up, so it's like you got to drop. But I guess, is the ceiling going to collapse after me? Yes, all right, so... The ceiling is sort of like following me. So we've got to be relatively quick. I'm taking, I'm guessing there's going to be no fall damage on this game either. Obviously not having a... Um, oh, we made the end. Uh, not having a, a jump button means c c the um, controls are very, very simple. Just left and right. Uh, we've got an achievement there for the tutorial. All right, let's jump into level two and take a look. Oh. Oh, okay. Toasted. A oh, nice tells you, unless it tells you like how far you got on the level as well. It's a nice little touch. Missed that one. Not to worry. All right, so you've, you've got to really think about when you're going to jump off some of these platforms because um, not being able to jump back is... Um, is something. All right, we got that one that time. Ah, oh, we went slightly too early. We was literally like less than a meter away from the... Uh... That time though, I did manage to hit everything on my way down. We've missed um, a couple of the enemies this time around, but... It's all good. So yeah, it's more of like a timing kind of thing in places where all right, we'll take that we didn't get to a couple of the enemies but yeah so kind of like a timing thing where you just got to once you play it you kind of understand um how to get through some of the levels it seems so um yeah pretty cool uh, soundtracks interesting obviously if you go too far then uh Some. 
I just wondered if there was a, an achievement there to get um, all the stuff in a level as such, but um, we'll carry on. We'll carry on. Oh, we've got different blocks here. Okay, so now we have spike blocks to deal with. What? Uh, what? What happened there? I'm not where I thought I was before. Oh. Is this procedurally generated each time? That's mad. Didn't see any information about like that sort of thing going on in this game. Oh, and we went too far. But okay, that's um that makes for interesting. I would have thought it would have been procedure generated though, but not to worry. It kind of looks like it isn't now. I don't know. I'm kind of confused. I should have avoided that spike platform there. Oh boy, it doesn't take a lot to confuse old knock, let's face it. One thing I'm not sure about is whether or not, like, the different characters have different abilities. Might have to uh, we unlock some more characters. We'll have to uh, test that out, won't we? I guess. Oh, I was so close. So close. Oh, I went too early. I went too early then. <laughs> Like I say, you've really got to time your kind of like movements on these platforms. You can't go too early, or else you don't get to see what's coming up ahead. And then you've got nowhere to go. You really don't have a lot of time to move off those spike platforms either. Oh, you can... Oh, okay. All right, well. Looks like we can go... We can screen wrap. That's a thing. Okay, so screen wrapping may or may not actually help us um, to... get to places better or quicker even later on in the level all right we made the flag yeehaw you see yeah it's it looks like the levels are procedurally generated which is Interesting. Okay, I should have probably gone off the side and screen wrap that time. That was an instance where it would have probably helped me. Unlike that. Oh my goodness. I, I was trying to I was trying to land on that platform with that enemy there and then I totally missed it and then landed on the spikes underneath. Jeez. One thing I would say though is I don't think I'm being I wouldn't have put toasted as like the, the death thing. I think I'd been toasted. Oh my god. <coughs> Excuse me. Had to make the leap. But that was not the right thing to do. Ah. 
Oh, I should have gone back. If I'd have gone back and screen wrapped again back off the right side of the screen, we would have um, actually made that, I think. I was clever enough to see it for a start. But obviously, because the um, cause it's a, a scrolling game, it's a scroller, you don't have that much time to actually kind of think about what you're going to do and plan it out, which is the difference with, you know, a game like Celeste, where you, you know, you, you know what's coming up. You kind of have the time to plan out and do what you're going to do before you get to it because it's Celeste is a lot about trialing a trial and error and like improving the way you do do it um, this is kind of at the minute I kind of see this as more of like a reactions based game I do feel like I'm getting better at like gauging the like distances between the platforms, like when they're going to come up. They're kind of pretty. I, I feel like they're they're relatively um, evenly spaced, so that kind of helps. Oh, now we have more stuff to contend with. Hey, look at that. We smashed that one out of the park first time. Huzzah! All right, so we've got a line down here after number eight, it seems. So I wonder if that's uh, going to signify a boss fight on the next or some sort of boss fight on the next one. There was information about boss fights um, featuring in the game. Oh, had to go. Had to go. I put myself under the pressure there. Did the same thing again. It seems like it seems like the levels aren't always randomly generated. Sometimes the levels are the same, it seems, but the enemies on the level are generated randomly. So close, so close, man. That was like just like a, a death run there, like just killing everything as you're on your way down. That was insane. Oh, yeah, I knew I'd gone too far to the right. It's like one of the one of the things I notice a lot with Celeste is, um, you know, you kind of you know exactly what you're doing wrong, and you you can see you, you can feel yourself that you're gonna do it, but. There's nothing you can do to stop yourself from doing it. So it seems like enemies give you coins as well. So it's not just the coin pickups. Enemies are also coins. So kind of nice little way there to... Oh, man. To um, get more coins more quickly to unlock the other characters. And it's nice that your... Um, coins like wrap uh, you don't lose your coins if you kind of like fail the level some games like if you don't get to the end then anything you've picked up up to that point are lost and you have to go and do it all again but it's nice that the um, sometimes nice to be able to keep those sorts of things man I need to better process what's going on uh, no. I did not say Siri. Oh, I missed it. 
Must have been almost at the end. I think I think we're about 150 this one, so. I was I was looking at the top of the screen thinking the spice closing in, the spice closing in, I gotta move, I gotta move, I gotta move, and then completely failed. So yeah, it's it's really a balancing act to try and keep your character as much as you can in like the middle of the screen, like um, vertically in the middle of the screen, not necessarily horizontally, but um, because you don't want to be too close to the top, you don't want to be cl too close to the bottom. That seems to be like the the key strategy. So, if you're going to the top, it's all about like going quicker, and if you're near to the bottom, it's just about slowing down a bit just to identify what is happening and what's going on and what you need to do next. So, not rushing ahead too much. So, I think we're going to have a boss fight here. Just on the f basis that um, we have some sort of line here. So. Alright. Maybe not. Maybe the boss fight will come after. We'll see. Oh, wow. That's... Um Oh my goodness, what am I... <laughs> Man, that was that was something. We almost made it as well. So now we have enemies in the air to deal with as well. It's hard though, because when you have too many things like the fire thing um, near together... You can't stay on the platform for too long because you're going to get burned. But then, obviously... Alright, that's how we do that. Sorry, I'm, I'll try and return to that thought process, that train of thought in a moment. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to um, pace yourself in certain scenarios where, you know, like that, you've got the fire platforms... You've got the spike platforms, you can only go to a spike, and you're trying to stop yourself from going, but you have to go because um, you're going to get burned by the fire on that platform else. So, yeah, it's it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough in places. And obviously, having like the random like the, the random level sort of thing as well is, is interesting. Kind of makes it means that... Um, and no two playthroughs are kind of going to be the same, which is very interesting. See, things like that. You're just hoping and praying that the next thing that comes up from the bottom of the screen is going to be a solid platform that's not going to kill you in that sort of uh, scenario. But alas, in that case, it was not. I kind of feel like I went through the fire there and almost cheated slightly. But, uh, achievement unlocked. Easy mode. We've cleared levels 1 to 8. So, oh my god, it's going faster. It's going faster, boys <laughs> and girls, of course. I could play to my strengths, though, because I feel a lot of my failings have been because I'm going too fast. So... I may or may not play to my strengths. We'll decide shortly. Oh, uh... Um... 
I should have screen wrapped. I often just forget that it's a thing. The enemies kind of remind me of um, like a crossover between a Koopa and a Goomba. Oh, went too far. Again, though, screen wrapping may have saved me from there. <laughs> he says. Oh, I thought I was higher than I was. Also, just noticed as well, the, the the music kind of picks up from where it finished, I think, which is pretty cool. Oh, man. Did not expect to get all the way down there. Uh. Uh. Oh! Uh. <laughs> I went too far. Man, what is it? I think this must be like 250 long. This one. It's, uh, it's quite a beast. Yeah, it wasn't a lot I could have done there. So now I, I kind of agree with the, um, the toasted message some of the time because now we are actually being caught on fire. We are technically being toasted. I did just check out that slinky screen wrap technique there. I kind of went back out and went back again to get on the platform underneath. I thought it was good. Ah, I thought I'd land on him. I thought I'd landed on him. Some of the, the platforms look like a different shade of pink. I don't know if that's... That means that they do something different. I don't know. terrible. My decision there to go back was the wrong one. I thought it was going to get burnt. Oh my god. Clutch at the end. Holy cow. We proper clutched that. The way we fell off there. So I should have gone back off. again. We're having some like proper clutch moments. So I think like this the second second zone obviously all of the levels are 250 in length whether it be meters or units whatever the, the unit of measurement is in this game. I doubt it's meters but I thought I missed the platform. I thought I was good. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I had to go that way because I was never going to make it on, over to the left. the right ones to go for and knowing when to say you know what I'm not going for you oh, I was almost at the end there it was just like 11.8 off so literally a couple of platforms and we'd have done that it's not too bad once you sort of get into a rhythm of like how to do stuff it's not too bad at all Sort of like being quickly to being able to quickly analyze what blocks you've got, what to go for, what to kind of try and avoid. There we go. Ooh, I didn't think I was going to get off that platform then. Jeez, that was close. That was close. Ah, yeah, I was wary about where I was going to fall in relation to that. Um, where I was going to fall in that like flame platform to the left of me there. Uh, I, I don't know what I was doing there. My my hands were all over the place. I was really a bit conflicted as to what I wanted to do. So. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I gotta go fast, quickly. Just until we kind of get ourselves back on track. Kind of loitered a bit for the middle and it really hurt me. God, this is like fire level. It's like super fire level. Like being in Bowser's castle and having all the freaking fireballs attacking you. It's clear, is it clear, is it? Yeah, I, I knew I was too low there to jump off there. I left it too long. Excuse me. For some reason, I never contemplated going off to the right, so it's my own fault there. As long as you can see the areas, you can actually buy yourself quite a bit of time. Ooh, I had to go. Oh my god! Look, clutch, clutch. Oh my god, the clutch. <laughs> oh, if I'd have just let go of left there, that was pretty insane. I don't know how I kept that one alive. Ooh. Oh, I had to go. I had to go. Oh, man. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do at all. So, thinking about like the controls of the game, um, obviously you're only going left and right, but I think it's it's a good left and right. They're not too they're not too laggy. They're not too delayed. The last thing you want in like a game like this 
is where you're pressing something and it takes ages for the person, the, the character to move. Whereas this, literally, the minute you, the, the minute you press it, you are moving in that direction. He moves quite quickly as well. The character does. So, um, uh, um, yeah, there's there's no lag on the controls. So I think you've really balanced them well. I, I've played games before where they're either too quick or too slow, and it just makes the game impossible to play sometimes. So, um, yeah, good job on that. Um, with regards to like the music and the soundtrack, it would be kind of nice if there was a bit of variety on the music and soundtrack. Um, I mean, granted, you're a small independent indie, but um, listening to the same thing over and over again is, or can get a bit monotonous. Um, one thing that is nice, though, is that you don't restart the track after every death. That is very nice. There's nothing worse than playing a game where the player is dies a lot, and then every time they die, the track starts from the beginning. It's quite nice that it picks up from where you left off, so you're not just listening to the same the, the same segment of the song over and over and over again. Oh my god! Sometimes you just don't know what. Um... Sometimes you just don't know what's happening. And you just before you realise anything is happening, it's too late. Oh, everything's on the right. It's no fair. I call cheats. <laughs> it's nice that there's this, this um, like in-game currency system as well um, to sort of like reward you with different characters that you can play as. Um, we'll we'll switch up the characters in a minute. I like I say I don't know if um, I don't know. I'll check the Steam page in a minute. There was nothing in your email I didn't think about. Um, There was nothing in the email, I don't think, about the characters having different abilities. Um, it's not really a lot on the Steam page at the minute, I don't think. On um, the store page. Yeah, it just basically says... Sent through Hazardous Pit and defeat massive monsters lurking in the deep. In, in the deep, in the small but unabashedly tough game. So it doesn't really say anything about the um, the characters. So I guess they're just like a nice little thing that if you want to challenge yourself as a player to unlock them all. I'm sure there's probably an achievement for it. Oh, wow. There are... 13 achievements in total for the game. So. Oh my god, how did I get away with that? I have no idea. But I did. That's pretty freaking crazy. All right, let's go to. Let's. Helmets are cool. We've got a biker. Captain Ginger. Speed boosts last longer. More spikes. Oh, okay, so they do. More coins, lower speed. So they do have special abilities. That's really cool. That's good. Fewer coins, permanent speed boost. Full slower speed boost lasts longer. Short speed boost falls faster. Higher speed falls faster. Helmets are cool. So biker doesn't do anything. Speed boost lasts longer and more spikes. Let's go for more coins but lower speed. Let's try out the mummy. Let's try it. So we've got to be wary that the, the mummy is slower. Oh my god, very, very much slower. Jeez. 
This this could be a, a bad decision. It's a really cool cool idea though to um, incorporate characters with special abilities. Then it's up to the, it gives the it gives the the player like almost like a different level of customizability customizability. Is that even a word? I don't know. Um, customization as to how they want to play the game, which is quite nice. You know, if they want to go, if they want to try and get loads of coins, then you know, play the, like this character here who gets more coins but falls faster. It's it's not just a, a bonus of it gives you more coins. There is also a uh, detriment. I can't think of the words. There's also a negative impact for selecting that. So I quite like that. It's not all positive. It's an improvement in one area, but a negative in another. Man, talk about extra coins. Yeah. See, that's the problem with the, the, the mummy. So, for instance, we can't... We can't... Um, go over the spikes. We have to be really careful and try to avoid the spikes, it seems. It's like the best way to handle the mummy character, because they just move that, that much slower than everybody else. I should have wrapped around. I love when he's got his hands in the air. It looks like he's just like chilling as well. I like the start of the level. That was close. Ow. I... Yeah, he's it's like, it's just like that. He's like, hey, look at me. I'm free falling and chilling. <laughs> I quite like that um, animation. It's pretty cool. Man, we're getting some big coins over here now with this uh, upgrade. It was almost close. I think it was close to the end there, but. Ow. Oh. Had to go because of the spikes. Was, that ledge was just like a little tiny bit too far to the left for me to actually like come back underneath it, which was a shame. Oh my god, I got speed boost? Did I just get speed boost? Wait a second. Did I just uncover a new control? I think space gives you a speed boost. That's interesting to note. I don't know if you're limited or restricted to speed boosts. Yes, so space gives you a speed boost. You can tell as my character's kind of like moving. He's got like a little shadowy kind of thing behind him. Although it's not always there. So I don't know. I don't think I've actually seen either any... Is there any controls anywhere? I don't think so. Let's try this cheat code as well. Didn't want that. They have to do it on their main screen. There we go. We got unlimited coins. Cool. Let's unlock all our characters then. I can have a proper look at what all of them do.
So for anybody uh, who may be interested, the, the the cheat code there is pepperoni pizza. You enter it on this the title screen, and it gives you um, ten thousand coins straight off the bat, which unlocks everything as you can see. We've only left with a few. Stops time. Level scroll faster, permanent speed boost falls faster. Let's play as a unicorn. Unicorn sounds like a challenge. Everybody loves unicorn, right? Oh my god, I love it. Why can't I have a rainbow thing that follows me behind when I walk everywhere? Would you look at that? <laughs> Smashed it out the park with Mr. Unicorn. Man, I like that unicorn. Oh. Achievement! A toast to you. A toast to me. Die a hundred times. Every failure is a celebration. Man, that sounds just like a uh, Celeste. Let's say something like dying is learning or something like that. Learn you learn from every death. Oh. Well, I missed the uh I missed the flying Koopa Goomba thing. Oh man. Uh, what was I meant to do there exactly? The unicorn almost moves too quickly. It's weird to say, but... After playing with the slower characters for a start, you're kind of like trying to balance yourself and like use the same sort of movement principles you learnt with those characters first. And, yeah, like I say, Unicorn almost feels like it moves too quickly. And you have to, like, readjust and relearn how to move with this character. Ah, oh, why did I go that way for? Because I thought I was going to land on its head. We'll try up a different character in a moment. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. What just happened there? I should have looped around. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know what was happening. I was just all in a daze. Much like with Celeste, though, it's sort of like, I feel like it, it feels really good when you start, like, putting some of this stuff together and comboing stuff. It'd be really cool if there was a, like, a combo multiplier or something. So, if you could, oh, oh I got a five-hit combo. There's an achievement for it. But, yeah, it'd be really, I was about to say, it'd be really cool if you could get a, um, um, if there was, like, a combo system or, like, a combo multiplier as such. So, um... Even if it was like time restricted some way or sh way shape or form. 
like I say, it just like like with Celeste, it just feels really cool when you do when you pull something off that's like quite technical, and it looks real cool. It feels really cool. You feel like great that you've done it, and um, yeah, it'd be cool to like get some sort of in-game reward. But you know, achievements are good as well. I like achievements. All right, we'll have a couple more goes with Unicorn, and then we'll uh, see if we can swap it up here. I'll probably find it a lot easier after I go to the Unicorns because the game speed will slow down again. So, we'll see. Ah. Alright, let's swap out from Unicorn. Let's see what else. I, I went to the wrong thing. Uh, it looks like there's a continue system as well, so you can use coins to continue. Uh, short bounce, higher speed. Bullets can't hurt you. Shorter boost speed. High speed falls faster. Shorter speed boost falls faster. Full slower speed boosts last longer. Permanent speed costs fewer coins. All right, let's try silhouette. He has a permanent speed boost, so we've just got to be very wary of like the speed he's going to be going. He's going to be like doing some crazy kind of speeds left and right. So just need to be wary of that. So I don't know how I pulled that off. What did I go that way for? Way. I feel like I can like really get like low, really good distance jumps from this character as well. I can pretty much, if I'm one side of the screen, I need to be the other side of the screen. I feel like I can pretty much get to that side of the screen without too much issues. No matter where the like screen is scrolling or where, uh, what's in my way. So yeah, going back to the multiplier thing, it might be a. I, I'm the kind of. I kind of think it might be a good idea to have, maybe, the more enemies you or coins you collect in the level, it um, increase your multiplier. So maybe like for like 10, 20. The multiplier probably won't be as effective in the earlier levels because there isn't as much going on in the screen and as many enemies. But um, later levels, it would be pretty cool to have some sort of um, multiplier. Oh, I tried to, uh, I tried to compensate for where I saw the, um, where I saw the enemies. Just trying to go for a five combo again, but, um, So I'm guessing that I saw some characters that said that they were they jump like jump shorter. So I wonder if that's like how high they jump off the top of enemies, possibly. <laughs> We've got like a seven or eight there. Jeez. thought for sure I was landing on top of him. Blast you, game. You see what I mean there about I... I don't think with a normal character I would have made that ledge from like all the way on the left-hand side of the screen like I just did. I think because this character's got the constant speed boost like that, again. Oh my god, managed to keep that off somehow. 
you have the extra speed to kind of like clear the entire width of the screen so attention there. All right, I want to try and get this one done before uh, we uh, end the video here. Oh, should have carried on wrapping. Mic check, mic check, one, two. We be rapping. All right, let's, uh, let's have a look at another character. Speed boost lasts longer and there's more spikes. Oh, more spikes. Ah. So that means more spike platforms, right? I'm not sure I want this. Spikes are the worst. But man, after playing with that, um, after playing with Silhouette, this character is so slow and clunky to move. I was taking that speed boost for granted, wasn't I? Jeez. Trying to go for combos, and I should really just play it safe. It's a dumb way to play. the speed boost control is. I thought it was space, but I'm not so convinced. Also, that was a save. I think it's... is it D? Oh no. Yeah, I don't know what speed boost control is. Not sure. The only thing I can think is that there was a, before I started the video, there was a tutorial level I was just looking at just to make sure everything was set up and working. I wonder if there's anything in there about the tutorial. Um, let me just go back. Can I get to the tutorial? I don't know, I can. Mr. Cottons. Yeah, there's no... I can't get back to the tutorial, so... Come on, we can do this before the end of the video. Alright, so this character gives you, like, loads of time to contemplate what's going on with your life as you fall down this pit. Totally missed that. Moves very slowly though. I 
I think Unicorn or Silhouette seems to be the way to go. They seem to be the, the best characters. I kind of understand though, with, with the like characters having different abilities, I kind of understand now why levels are procedurally generated, because depending on the character the player has got selected, um, will depend on what you need to put in that level, I guess, so. There we go, look. We done did it. You know what, I'm tempted to do the next one as well. And we're about halfway through the game anyway, so we've covered half of the game, at least uh, in this video, so. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what, you're, what you think of the game. Um, I know obviously these sort of platforming games aren't everybody's cup of tea. But um, it's, it's quite a nice little game to play. If you've got like a um, a little bit of time to kill and you just want a nice little game to play, then this could be it. I think having those extra characters... Oh man, we smashed that one. Having like the, the characters with the different abilities as well is, um, is a really cool way of mixing it up. I think we just unlocked um, unlimited mode as well. Um, now I'm guessing like 15 is going to go like crazy fast. Yeah, screen wrapping helps sometimes. That last one was, was quite crazy. The fact that, um, that I was getting a bit panicky because obviously this character moves quite a bit slower than some of the others we've played out as. And there was like a, a mass of enemies right at the end of that level where we had to jump on. And I was getting worried that because I jumped so slowly with this character, I was going to get caught up in all of that. But um, yeah, it wasn't too bad in the end. It wasn't too bad. So uh, yeah, but that's been... Um, that's been uh, Serious Scramblers. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this like little preview of it. Oh man, we've got a 10 hit combo achievement. Yeah, I hope you've uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Um, like I said, let me know your thoughts, feedbacks, and comments in the uh, sorry thoughts and feedback in the comments. Um, I'll be sending the link to the developer. So if you've got any comments or feedback for the developer, please make sure uh, you leave them, and um, they'll be sure, hopefully be able to see them on the video. But, um, yeah, I've really enjoyed this, actually. It's uh, quite a nice little take on a, a platforming, especially having a vertical platformer like this. And having, like I say, the uh, like the customization options for the different characters and bits and pieces is, um, is pretty good as well. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to see me play the rest of this, let me know in the comments. And... Um, you know, we can do another video of this, possibly. Um, we've only got about, like, 11 levels left of the game. There's 27 in total. I'm quite interested to see what the boss fight is done. So, maybe regardless, I will do another video of this and see if we can finish off um, the remaining 11 uh, levels. But thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, all the links and details for the game are down below. So, go check them out if you would like to. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.